Yo, what up, people? Blessing Awardable here, Truck Nutrition Atlee, straight from Dublin, Ireland. And I'm here today to talk about split routine system for a beginner. <music> Personally, I love split routine system. I've been using split training system since day one. You know, I never had a coach, I never had a trainer. This is just the way, you know, I I, I started training. You know, there's always things I always do. I like to split my body. I like to split my muscle groups and attack them day by day, one at a time. And I don't like full, cyst, full body workout. Doesn't really work. It will never, will never work. Maybe you're some sort of a different type of athlete, but not for a bodybuilder, not for building muscle. To build muscle, to gain that mass, you need a split routine, especially for a beginner. It's gonna work great, and you're gonna make extremely great, great, great gains in your first couple of months, first couple of months, yes. And um, will always work. So, for example, let's say Monday, right? Monday chest. And I'll say Monday chest and triceps, Tuesday legs, Wednesday uh, shoulders, Thursday rest, Friday back, Saturday, uh, what's there? Saturday, I don't know, chest again, and Sunday rest. You know, so guys, I'm gonna show you some of the workout routines that you can perform on a Monday for chest and triceps, and Tuesday for legs and this is how it is okay so guys i'm gonna bring you through a root a workout routine that i normally perform for my example of a routine work that i normally perform for my chest so let's say monday example of a split plan so let's say monday it's chest you know your goal here is to eat your chest at a very at all kinds of angle different angle just to get that pump to get a fullness just to get all the muscle fibers engaging and properly break them down so that they'll be sore for a good few days you know so i normally start let's say my forces is normally be benching flat bench or incline uh it's different every time and then exercises could be in will be machine incline incline press chest press and then the next one will be dumbbell flies and then i move on to dumbbell incline press and then i move on to a cable crossover and then I'm gonna finish with push-ups if I've got any energy left. So first exercise will be flat bench press today. And as I normally start, I always start with very light. I normally start with a, just a simple very long, just to get that blood going there, just to warm up. First three sets always a warm-up set. And then I throw on a pre-made up to a very, very heavy to where I can only perform eight till 10 reps. All right, so first set here, you know, which again, it's the warm-up set. All right, so I'm gonna push as much as possible. I'm gonna wrap this out as I am warming up. All right. Normally, I'll do about 20 reps on my first three sets. You know, weight's still going up, but not hugely. You know, and then I move on to my working set. So, and the next exercises will be incline machine press. So, second exercise, again, machine press. I always start kind of light and then I build, I pre-made all the way up to as heavy as I can and still able to perform about eight reps. So right now this is light, push about 15 reps, nice and easy. Get the stretch and full contraction. Always go through the phone range of motion. Down, boom, down, boom, down, boom, down, boom. So that's it guys, I really love this machine as it's, 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 I love the isolations as you can get really full contractions when you're coming down and then exploding on your way up. You know, really targeting that chest, nothing else but chest. Maybe when you get really weak, the triceps try to, you know, come on in there but it's like 100% on your chest. All right, then we move on to the next exercise, which will be incline dumbbell press. Dumbbell press, incline dumbbell press. Again, start up light and build your way up. 
all right nothing crazy nice and easy to bring the dumbbells right down to your shoulders you know nearly touching and up boom up boom up try not to lock you know slightly bang just to keep the tension on the chest boom boom and go for ultimate burnout talking about 12 to 15 reps all right all right so that's dumbbell press a toy exercise and then we move on to flies you know i always love to throw flies in in the middle of my chest workout you know where i have gone to like crazy crazy maximum pump like you can feel the fullness in your chest and it feels like your chest was about to burst and then you throw on flies you know just to stretch out that muscle fibers you know stretch them out stretch them out and then up stretch 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 all the way and then up stretch when you're here try not to tense just relax and let the weight go and up what you want here is stretch it nothing else stretch it because your chest is super pump and what you want to do is you want to create areas you want to create more areas you know in order to push in more volumes of blood you know so you want to stretch everything out and then again we move on to pump again now we're gonna go on to cable cross for more pump so cable cross right after chest press i mean right after uh flies you know it's a great way to push in more blood all right when you're performing this exercise the main thing is getting the stretch and getting the full contraction right at the bottom stretch and boom 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 will give you that wider and thicker chest you know when you go all the way back stretch and from here and you all the way down squeeze maximum pump you know till you start to get sore you know what they say near my bull near my effecto no pain no gain <laughs> all right so that's it for cable cross and last exercise sometimes i try to throw in the push-ups there just to maximize the growth the breakdown of the fibers all right so and after the flies straight in there about four or five sets of push-ups you know just to get a last pump last breakdown of the muscle fibers boom all right you get five set of that trust me <laughs> after those exercises your chest will be like on fucking fire <laughs> squeeze the language so leg day when it comes to leg day i normally split quads and hamstrings why because quads are a huge muscle group and hamstrings are quite big as well you know so if you're trying to if you think you're gonna fit in quads and hamstrings together, you know, you're gonna go 100% on one and 50% 50 50 on the other. You can't really go full on. You know, so I like to, you know, especially I'm trying to bring up my quads, I like to focus 100% just on quads and have different day for hamstrings, glutes, and calves, you know? So today I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be giving you guys example of my quad splits, you know? So we focus mainly on quads our goal here is to break down every single fibers in this muscle group right here just to make them grow to become stronger and bigger all right force exercise is always my leg extensions i call it pre exceptions i split i uh combine leg extension superset leg extensions with lunges so my four set i normally go for about 50 reps nice and easy just to get our pump in all right 50 reps because it's very light and i'm trying to prevent injuries and it is my warm-up set all right so i do 50 reps on my four sets and then 
Body weight, I am straight into lunges. And walk all the way down. My next set, I will grab a dumbbells. The weight on the leg extension will increase. Dumbbells goes up as well. Five to six sets. And we move on to leg press. Straight from leg extensions into lunges, all the way down. You know, boom. You gotta make sure you're keeping the weight right back. You know, you turn your back all the way back. You know, boom, all the way down. Nice and easy, boom. All the way down and straight back up. Boom, boom, just like so. So guys, you can give her a go. Leg extension, straight into lunges. I swear to God, <laughs> you're gonna cry after the first few sets. All right, then I'm on to leg press. Okay, so after super saiyan leg extension and lunges, after five to six sets, you're gonna go straight into uh, leg press. And now then, at this point, your legs are so pumped, they're like swollen, you know, from the blood. All right, then you're gonna push them to maximum from the leg press, on the leg press. All right, boom, boom. Again, I like to do five to six sets on this. And about 20, 20 reps each. And then I move on to next exercise. So after leg press, straight on to the Smith machine uh, squats. You know, here again, about four to five sets and trying to hit that rep range is between 15 to 20. All right. At this point, your legs are absolutely messed up and they are screaming enough. But you won't stop right there. So down, off, down, off. All right, just going all the way down. And when you're coming up, try not to lock, just to keep the tension on the quads. So all the way down and up, right here. And then down again. All right, so back squat, and then move on to the next one. After swim machine squats or free squats, whichever you prefer, I like to move on to another type of a leg press. In my gym, I've got a vertical leg press and a parallel leg press, but here, I don't know, they have this uh, leg press here. It's like, I don't know, it's like uh, similar to parallel leg press. All right. So here, again, about four sets, 15 to 20 reps. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, for me, I like to go on to axe squat, but here, then I don't think they have axe squat. And so you can finish with the uh, lunges. So guys, that's it for leg workout routine, split training program. If you guys have any other questions, throw it in the comment box. And I'll see you guys later.